Hello and welcome to this episode of Frack the Canon Sans Sarah, the girls, it's just me and, and CJ. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Frack the Canon. I don't know why I'm having trouble doing this. I'm so used to having Renee and CJ, but we're not. I mean, Renee and Sarah, but not today. Anywho, CJ, what is up, good sir? How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Uh, how you we been? Renee and CJ. I those, know. <laughs> for those just tuning in. <laughs> yes, That's this right. is... I, I miss Renee and Sarah as well. <laughs> Tear. <laughs> um, all right, so you want to give a little breakdown of what we're going to talk about today? Uh, about Because you got me into the show, My Hero Academia. Do you want to give us a little breakdown of what we're going to talk about? Sure, I'll take that as you saying that I'm better than you. Sure. Um, uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. So what yeah. <laughs> all right, so My Hero Academia. Um, if you like anime at all right now in this world, in this life, then you probably like this show right now because it is kind of a phenomenon right now in the anime community. Mm -hmm. Um, it's everywhere. The merchandise is everywhere. Um, I wish I had my, uh, poster in, Me in too. grabbing shot. Cause <laughs> what, what is that? Be, what is that behind you? Huh? What is that behind you? Oh, that's Spider-Man. Oh, never mind. That's not... No, yeah, never everybody mind. knows I'm a Spider-Man fan. Yes, this is true. Um, <laughs> but no, My Hero Academia, um, it's just fun. It, it, it's a really cool anime, um, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I, I absolutely love it. It's like kind of the only thing right now that I'm watching on a weekly basis that mm -hmm. I like have to see the first... have to see the new episode when it drops. Um, and I knew that <laughs> once I started watching this... And once I started getting into it, I knew you, Renee, would love this show um, once you gave it a chance. Um, but it took you kind of a minute to get into it. Yeah, it, it did take me a minute. Um, so let's talk about uh, My Hero Academia. So there's a poster of, of the world, right? Of, let's talk about the main character of My Hero Academia. His name is Deku. His name is Midoriya, but they call him Deku. And he is, in this world of, of, uh, of My Hero Academia, people are born with quirks, right? But he is not born with one. He is he is quirkless, which is kind of a bad thing for the, for these characters, for 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 this world. It's it's not it's not common, right? But he right. is this guy, like you said it too. He is he is our hero. He's the journey we're following. I love the character, dude. I think I love him more than, than I like Spider Man. And I don't know how. Anywho, he, he's our hero. He 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 can't go into he 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 wants to be a hero so badly. And you go to My Hero Academia, or is it called? Is it My Hero Academia? Or is it called UA? What's yeah, UA. UA. I think it stands. For, I don't know what it stands for, but <laughs> he he is so sad because he wants to. He wants to be like the greatest hero. The greatest hero of all time is All Might, which is pretty much an analog to Superman. Um, and he does something that gets him in there because again, everyone in this world is born with powers except for him. So it's the first clip. Can we play that first clip, please? Alrighty, and I'm coming back. <laughs> um, so, CJ, we want to talk about that, what happened there? about? Yeah, okay, so, like, yeah, Renee, you were trying to kind of trying to get at the idea that we love this character so much, and mm -hmm. kind of this why. And, um, like you said, like, setting up the world, um, it's kind of like a reverse X-Men world. Yes. Um, and where, um, in X-Men, mutants are the minority, and so they're the ones that are kind of... Um, cast out um they're the second hand citizens kind of you know what well, in this world it's the opposite of that the majority have superpowers um and those mm -hmm. who don't have them are are like uh, izuku midoriya the main character um are called quirkless and in school that kind of manifest him growing up in school that kind of manifests as um him being kind of a nerd the outcast mm -hmm. um and him getting picked on and bullied um and that, which I think is cool because it translates like to normal high school, you know, popular kids. Of course, obviously, po oh. the popular kids would be those with superpowers, and those without them would not be super powerful. So um, when we begin the the, the show, um, it's him, like you said earlier. He 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 dreams of being the greatest hero of all time. His his biggest hero that he looks up to because he's kind of a fanboy in that respect, a bit of a like a comic nerd, but you know. They don't 
don't need comics because they have actual superheroes. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's kind of a fanboy of All Might, who, like you said, is a is our is our Superman uh, analog. Um, and he wants to be just like him. And even if he doesn't have superpowers, he wants to be the greatest hero just like him. Just because right. All Might's presence is so inspiring, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? He wants to he wants to be that inspiration. Um, and in the chant, he meets All Might actually, and he had he meets All Might, and through a twist of fate, he discovers that he too can become. A hero as well. Mm-hmm. Um, what we find out um, is that All Might's power, um, All Might is like Superman, mm-hmm. but he's also, you know, he's kind of, he's a bit of a mashup. There's an element of like Green Lantern to him yeah. um, in that his power actually can be passed on. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, and this is something that the world, the greater world doesn't know. And most people don't know because if they did know it, then, you know, All Might would be in a lot more danger than he is. But this is something that, you know, most, most people don't know. And so w- once he is so inspired by that last clip that we just showed mm-hmm. of, of Midoriya um, rushing into the fight without even having superpowers or no hope of saving his mm-hmm. friend, um, he's so inspired by that action that he decides this kid is worthy of me, of being my successor. This kid is worthy of me passing my power on to. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I found this. Yes, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just too great. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. So we, so it's yes. So I have another. We have another clip about that, but we might not show it yet. Um, about like you said, like he. You know what? Let's show the clip. I'll change my mind. It's a second clip, please. Let's show that one about all my talking to Midoriya. There are stories about every hero. Their bodies moved before they had a chance to think. Almost on their own. You never told me, Mom, the words I needed to hear. Young man, you too can become a hero. And there we go. So it just, he wants to be a hero so bad. He wants to go to MA so bad that he started crying. Like, he's like, I'm worthy. I'm, I'm, I'm finally one. My, my biggest hero, All Might, has a, a, said, yes, I'm worthy to be a hero even if I have no powers. I teared up the first time I saw that. I'm like, this is like, and I didn't even know that character at all that well, but it was still a very emotional moment for me. How did you, th- how did you what did you think of it, CJ? It is a very emotional moment because... The first, because that's the end of, I think, episode two. Yeah. Um, and the whole first, like, the whole arc, character arc of Midoriya before we get to that moment is this whole, like, he's pretty much a loser, like, his whole life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and, but he, that doesn't stop him from trying really hard. We were talking the other day about, like, who this character is, who he's like, and I had, I had started off by saying, oh, well, you know, he's like Spider-Man, and that's kind of why I like him, but no, he's not like Spider-Man, he's a lot more like Captain America, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that he just wants so bad to do the right thing, mm-hmm. because it's right, you know what I mean? Like, yep. And he wants to be this, he wants to be an inspiration, um, the same kind of inspiration that inspires him. Mm-hmm. And, and because of that, like, we, we like him, we, we have this affinity with him, because this, this guy who's trying so hard without any resources to do the right thing just because it's right. And then when he finally kind of gets that win at the end, that win at the end of episode two, because even, he even says it too, like, my mom didn't even tell me what, what All Might just told me. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Like, my mom said, like, like that you couldn't do this, you know yep. what I mean? But, like, this is, like, the first time he's ever gotten any encouragement that he could do what he has dreamed to do, you know? Um, and, it, and, 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 yes, that is a powerful emotional moment. It was, it was a great one. I, I loved it a lot. Um, So now, so we, he goes into MA, which I, I knew he was going to do it, because it opens with the, the opening credits to say, hey, this is really how I became the greatest hero. And what I like about him, about Midoriya, something was shown in the first clip, was that he an- analyzes. He's always thinking, like, four or five steps ahead. Like, this is, if they do this, I'm going to do this. I have these options. This is how I can react. If they do this, I do this. If they do this, I do, I twist and pivot to this. Um. Especially working with uh, when he fights Bakugo, uh, I think that's the third clip we have. Um, because Bakugo has has power. Then we roll that clip. <laughs> 
Is that, is that the right one? Look at those moves! I analyzed every amazing hero, even you. I wanted to learn everything I could about them. You can call me Deku, but I'm not the same helpless, defenseless kid anymore. From now on, Deku is the name of a hero! I forgot he said about the speech, but that speech. Okay, so first of all, let's go with that. Let's do, I forgot we'll talk about speech in a minute. Um, but it's just like Bakugo is just it was always attacking him. He's always he's so angry at at, at Deku at, at Midoriya that he that he's even in there. Like he goes, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna destroy you. But Deku uses just out of his good out, out of his smartness out of to be a hero to need to survive. He's analyzed everything so much. He wants to be he's such, like you said he's such a fanboy that he's studied everything. This is the he's gonna do this. This is how he counterattack, and this is how he get ahead of it. Your thoughts, good sir. No, uh, yeah, and I love that because, like you said, he's a fanboy, even of his bully. Which yes, is, dude. Bako is, Bakugo is his bully mm -hmm. in this series. And he's such a fanboy of good heroes that he can even recognize how good Bakugo is. Bakugo's a bully because he, he views himself as the best, but he is like really good and, and Midoriya recognizes that and he idolizes him because he's really good and he idolizes good heroes mm -hmm. and in this in that in that scene in that clip that we had just watched you know he's forced to face him of course it's his bully but he has studied how good he is and, and why he's good mm -hmm. you know what I mean like and because he knows what he does to be good, you know what I mean? Like he can, he's he's able to circumvent his strategy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He he's able to get around what he knows he's good at to show, well, or or to in, in order to be good himself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like you said, like yeah, that's that's a, that's a really good thing. He's such a fanboy that it makes him a better hero mm -hmm. because he's a, a student of good heroes. Right. You know. Right. You know. Um. And that speech too about how he, like about Deku. So let's talk about that too. So Deku is a is a Japanese pun, right? His name is Midoriya, but I guess in Japanese writing, if you remove a character or something, it it becomes Deku, which means you know this better. I'm so confused by that. What does that mean? Like what what is? So no, yeah, I guess like Deku is Deku is what Deku is like a derogatory term that Bakugo calls Midoriya. Uh -huh. But yeah, like like what what he what you said basically, it's it's pretty on the money. Um, when you spell Midoriya in Japanese, if you move a character, it changes the meaning from Midoriya to Deku. Mm. Deku just mean Deku means useless. Right. So it's just like a, a play on words. So Bakugo, like when they were a kid, they show a flashback. You know, probably around the, <laughs> probably around grade school when you're learning the spell stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like um, he he makes that he makes a joke about Deku about Midoriya's name, mm -hmm. and he starts calling him Deku in front of all the other kids. You know what I mean? And so that becomes his new. That becomes his sort of new his new moniker, you know what I mean? Them making fun of him. Oh, Deku, Deku, he's useless, Deku. Um, and so that kind of sticks. Right. When they finally get to high school, you know what I mean? Of course, he's still calling him that. Mm -hmm. um, but, and then again, like I told you, that's like my favorite freaking line in the whole series. <laughs> as we just watched there, um, as he's standing there in his freaking battle damaged uh, outfit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which, by the way, is he's such a fanboy. His outfit is a <laughs> costumed version of what All Might looks like. Can, so, yeah, can someone find a picture of All Might and then switch to the picture of Deku? Um, All Might is in this. <laughs> so that's All Might, right? And then if we can find one with Deku with his costume on, I, I think we have it. But if if not, then so right there, the, his his hood, his cowl. If you bring it up, it, it's it, it's, a, it's a smile. If you were to bring up the 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 the, the hood. It would it would have the years of of the of, of all my hair and then just a permanent smile, which is right there underneath on his neck. Um, on his neck, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, his costume is made to look like what all my because he's such a fanboy. But anyways, mm. as he's yeah standing there, um, and this is like pretty much the first in that episode. Um, it's pretty much the first episode where he stood up against his bully. He was made to by their class assignment. Um, but it's pretty much the first time he's able to that he stands up against his bully Bakugo. You know right. what I mean? Like, and he finally because um, 
and with the help of uh, what some girl thought, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a girl in a class, his his love interest, Uda, Uda Raka, um, she didn't know that it, it was like an insult, you know what I mean? She's just like, oh, I think it sounds kind of cute, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, and that that enough, you know, like you know, like so many of us hopeless nerd dudes, uh, <laughs> and then some chick comes along and gives us a quick compliment. Uh, of course, that would change our complete <laughs> perception. <laughs> we thought of about it, you know what I mean? And so yeah, I, know, I, I know that. I, I love that line. I know that all too well, CJ. What's up? I know that all too well. Name me, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I <laughs> sure do. <laughs> Anyways, well, <laughs> I love that line. Yeah. In that, when he finally, he like accepts it. He's like, because he chooses, he actually chooses Deku as his hero name. Yep. You know, and he chooses that, like, in spite of being called that, like, as an insult his whole life. He said, you know what? No, like, from now on, Deku is the name of a hero. Mm-hmm. Like, you can call me that if you want to, but, like... That mean that's good. Now I'm taking that back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm taking Deku. Like, okay, so now, okay, so story arcs and story moments. You, you, that was your favorite line. That was your favorite. My favorite moment is, is there's there's a character called Todoroki. I call him Icy Hot because I don't know what a superhero name is, but he's half fire, half ice. Um, well, Bakugo calls him Icy Hot too in the show. Well, I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I mean, obviously not, but. There, there's a clip that even this character, Todoroki, didn't want to... I didn't know about the whole dad thing. It was Well, I guess I learned it as the new, but I guess he always used his, his, his left, his right side um, because it's only ice. His fire side is, is his right side is his dad, his, his fire. And he always he never wanted... He hates his dad. And there's a fight where they're fighting. Uh, there's the, in, um, he says, it's your power. It's not yours. It's, his, it's your power. Don't use it for your... And he, he, he emboldens Todoroki so much to use his right side that he goes, all right, you asked for this. We have a clip for that. Can we play that? Amazing. Why are you smiling with those injuries in this hopeless situation? You must be crazy. Don't blame me for what happens next. Someone who told me to, 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 there's a girl. I don't know who said that, but that was. <laughs> there are girls in this high school. It's not just a, an all guy thing, but there are girls in this. And um, some pretty badass ones too. Yeah, there is. There really is. Like my favorite is Midnight. I like her a lot. Um, um, <laughs> but okay, that that scene right there. You want to talk about you? You were the one that put, like I give you. Here's the one I want to choose. Pick pick yours, and then I, I kind of stole it and took it as my own. But it, it, you picked it. You want to elaborate uh, on? Whatever. I mean, I just chose it because it's an awesome scene. It's a great scene. <laughs> not because I felt like I needed to talk about it. Well, I, I, I feel like look, um, there are a lot of great characters in My Hero Academia. Uh, Todoroki is one of them, and you find out a lot of his backstory um, during this during this little whole this whole section, this whole arc, you right. know what I mean? Um, the, you know, there's like, um, like Renee was saying, kind of, um, you know, his left side, he didn't want to use his left side because it represents his dad who has these fire powers. Um, and his mother um, was an ice, ice-powered ice hero. Mm-hmm. So, and they, they, they talk, they allude to like this kind of dark past that his father's father had where he's like trying to create rather than like, he's trying to create a powerful son, you know what I mean? So, like, he basically, being wealthy, kind of, you get the idea that he kind of, like, bought his mother's marriage. Yeah, you know it, I mean? like, like it was an arranged yeah. marriage. Like, he said, you're my grist, not my son. He, he called him creation, and I found that interesting. Like, he didn't call, his name is Endeavor. We have a picture of, of Todoroki's dad. Um, but he, did, he told him, too, you're not, he didn't call him son. He called him creation. I'm like, that is some really strong choice words to use right there. Um... But yeah, so keep saying. I'm sorry. I just want. I want you want to. Right. No. Yeah. Like it, well, he's he sees he sees him as a creation, as his greatest work. Yep. You know what I mean? And because of that, like you know, total. And there was a there's this huge falling out between his mom and like and his dad. You know, his mom went to like a a mental institution, and so like he's kind of like this this classic teen who hates his dad and doesn't want to talk to him or be around him and stuff. Yep. You know what I mean? Like this kind of emo kind of teen. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> 
but like all of this kind of comes out and and Midoriya being the altruistic hero that he is when he's fighting him he's trying to get him to move beyond that because Midoriya is like look I'm working so hard to be the greatest hero ever and you are sitting here trying to tell me you are just gonna win this half-assing it like no like we all working hard like This, just because you don't like your dad doesn't mean you can't use this quirk, like, you know what I mean? Because, like you said before, Midoriya had figured out his weakness, and it had to do with yep. him only using one of his powers right. during the fight, you know what I mean? And so he was sitting there telling him, like, no. And it's that, and that is one of my, that is, like, one of my other favorite lines in the, in the show when he's just, like, looking like, it's like, what are you, crazy? Like, you're barely standing there. So here's one thing we didn't say about Midoriya, yeah. which I found awesome, right? Mm-hmm. In the first, like, season and a half, Midoriya is still getting used to the supremely powerful power that he got, mm-hmm. right? So as soon as he gets the, this, what's called the one-for-all power, right? Mm-hmm. And that's this transferable power that All Might had. Midoriya is the, what is it, eighth? I think he's ninth. The, or the ninth? I think he's the ninth, ninth yeah. Ninth, yeah, mm-hmm. Midoriya is the ninth holder of this power, um, that's been passed down um, from different people, and when before his body can get used to it, whenever he uses this power, it actually breaks his bones mm-hmm. because it's so powerful and yep. his body's just not used to it. So, like <laughs> when he's fighting Todoroki or Icy Hot, um, <laughs> when he's fighting him in that little, in the beginning of that little clip that we show him, yep. he's like broken. You know, his arms are like broken and yep. his fingers are broken and and Todoroki says some line to him like like what are you crazy like, like, like I'm gonna destroy I'm you, kill you kind of, yeah you know I mean? and, and Midoriya just says back to him like do it pretty much like, 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 Todoroki you haven't laid a finger on me right now <laughs> like and he's sitting there he's got two broken arms <laughs> and like four broken fingers and it's like you haven't laid a finger on me like come at me right now like you know what I mean and I just I just love that line too like because he's breaking himself. He's he's like, look, I've all, every every pain that you see that I have right now, I've done that to myself. You haven't done anything to me. You know what I mean? You haven't even touched me. <laughs> so we're running into the time. Like, so overall, the heroes are great. The main characters are great. The villains are interesting to say the least. But let's talk about the big one. There's, there's two villains I want to talk about if we have time. Hero Killer Stained and then All for One. Can we show that clip, please, of uh, the last one, the last clip? The word hero has lost all meaning in this society. The world is overrun by fakes and criminals like you who chase betting dreams. You must all be purged. Come on! Just try and stop me, you fakes! There is only one man I'll let kill me. He is a true hero. Yeah. All righty, so let's talk about that for, for a minute because he was the most, out of all the villains I've ever seen, he is the most that, like, no, you, he's not doing it out, out of, well, he's the one that's like, no, the society's wrong, and you heroes, I'm killing you guys because you're not worthy of being heroes. You use that name in vain. Only All Might is worthy of being a hero. What was your thoughts on that, CJ? I think it's awesome. That That's actually my favorite arc. So Me too. Far. Yeah. Um, in the in the entire series, it happens in season two, right after the UA arc, mm-hmm. um, and it kind of le- it kind of leads right into it, and it, and it's so telling about their world as well. You know what I mean? Like, because when they started, they talk about okay, hero is a profession, right? Right? Like when you think about the idea of what a hero is today, in our in our in our continuity, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. IRL. When you think about what a hero is, hero, you know, you're not paid for a hero. You might be paid for your job if right. you are a hero, like a police officer or a first responder or something like that. You might be paid mm-hmm. for that job that makes you heroic. But if you are a hero, that means that you go above and beyond what you do in order to save someone, right? You know what I mean? But in this world, hero is a profession mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's something that you can actually go to school for something that you get hired to do and, and and get paid for so i can see where that person is coming from right like when they look at that like this is a perversion of the word hero you yeah. know what i mean and it's a very interesting take on that no, I, 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 yep. yeah no i i'm like you make very good points killer hero uh, no i like them a lot and then there's a Let's talk about, you know what, a little face on hand guy. I don't know his name. 
But let's bring up that other picture. Tomura Shigaraki. Okay, so we got to pick it one more time. Who, what's his name? Tomura Shigaraki. Okay, talk about him because you understand his thing more than I do. I'm, I'm still like, I don't care. It's not that cool. I don't care. Wait, what thing? What thing? About, about his, 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 his. All right, so his. <laughs> so, hand face here. Yeah. Um, he is. I don't know. I, I, I like hand face because he just looks cool, to be honest. Like, when I first saw him, like. I just thought, like, okay, I've never seen anybody, any character that looked like this. Some guy who has, like, disembodied hands grabbing him. Yeah, this, this is so, <laughs> like, this, this is so weird. I'm like, face. what is this? This is, it was very Japanese to me. I'm like, what, what, what is and this? More, in season one, he had more All over his him. body, yeah. Yeah, he had more on. And see, in the later season, his later appearances, we, he, we've only seen the one. Um... But yeah, in season one, he had more hands on him, just these disembodied hands, and it's so creepy. Like, <laughs> it looks kind of cool too. Like, like where are these did these hands once belong to people? I can yes. only assume they did. Me, that was um, my only. Yeah, me too. Um, but that's that's his thing. So we're out of time, CJ, unfortunately. But this was one of our our, our good ones. I, we should do more anime episodes. I'm gonna bring my sister to see if she wants to do one. Um, what's all right, so our next one? For next episode, Venom. I'm assuming. What do you think? We are pleased with that choice. Yes. Yes. All righty. Venom is. All right, guys. Bye. Frack, frack, frack the cannon. And you mighty morphin. I can't say that. Frack the cannon. Ah, frack the cannon. Frack it. Frack it. Frack it real good. I have to take that out. I'm trying to think of a freaking riff, the guitar riff. That'd be great. I'm also doing a fracking the cannon. Frack the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, crash and burn.